What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, The Real Quinn Jr., and I'm back with another video on Naruto the Barto Shinobi Striker. Today, we're going to be continuing our clothing skill breakdown series or Shinobi Boost series, whatever you want to call it. So, if this is your first time here and you think this might be some content that you like, think about leaving a sub. And if you've been here before and you haven't already, just go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and turn the bell notification so you can know whenever I post new videos. I do this for y'all. But you already know, man. Let's go ahead and hop into this video. Okay, so when we get into the breakdown, dodge determination basically makes it harder for enemies to fall during close range attacks, allowing you to make longer combos and hit them more. So, you know, basically it's just going to allow you to cheese more while in the air. So the key points with this, it works best with launching jutsu, makes wall splats more effective, they're not going to fall as easy, and it allows for mid-air combos, and it doesn't affect pushback jutsu. So things like Almighty Push and, you know, Gentle Fist Body Blow doesn't really do anything. But if you're using, like, Leaf Rising Wind, Leaf Flash, anything like that, or just a normal light attack combo or a heavy Y attack that knocks them in the air, this is going to be effective when it comes to using Dodge Determination. So when we actually get into the breakdown, if I'm wearing the Yagra outfit, that means, you know, it's not equipped. So, when it's not equipped, you see here, it's going to take roughly about three seconds for them to hit the ground. Four seconds. And then when you see when I use this one, the Leaf Flash, it takes roughly about three seconds for them to hit the ground. And then, you know, when I try to do like a normal combo, so, with the Leaf Rising win, it kind of just depends. You got to be quick whenever you're coming in, because they can very well fall before you can actually get your hit off if you're not uh, tracking quick enough. But you see right here, the wall helps me out, and you know, you're able to combo up, and just keep in mind that this is with it out without dodge determination equipped. And you see right here, I use the healing pill, the flash pill, to see, you know, if it makes it easier for me to get these combos off, because the flash pill increases your attack tracking, your movement speed, and it gives you back health. So we actually have dodge determination equipped, we're going to try the same thing. So we're first going to see with the leaf rising, with the leaf uh, rising wind, you're gonna see here, it doesn't really do anything different. Maybe a second later, it's still four seconds that it takes, and then you're gonna see with the Leaf Flash, when you do this, it's only gonna take three seconds for them to hit the ground. So I didn't really see a drastic difference with the Dodge Determination. One thing I will say though, is once you start the combo in the air, it was, it did make a difference with, you know, them staying in the air longer, and you're gonna see that later on in the video. So I feel like this clothing skill works more so once the combo's already started in the air. But the thing is about this uh, clothing skill, there's just not a lot of things you can use it with because for the most part, the only class that really has launching jutsu are attacks. You're gonna see here, I mean, you can use Gentle Fist Body Blow, but like I said, I mean, they're not gonna be in the air long enough for you to actually do anything. So I tried using the Paper Bombs, and that's actually effective. You could use the Paper Bomb if you can come in quickly, but there's not much that increases your attack tracking for defense classes. You're gonna see here, Water Pillar knocks them in the air, and you know, you can get some combos off of that if they're in the air, but that's the main problem I had with this clothing skill is that, you know, besides attacks, the rest of the classes don't really have a lot of things that throw them in the air. And I know what y'all thinking, what, is that a Chia Shuriken? Yes, I had to get toxic for a little bit. I've been trying to avoid it, but yes, Uchiha Shuriken does work really well with this clothing skill, especially if you're running the meta build like Leaf rising wind and then you know you see right here i'm able just to get all types of combos in mid-air so yes you know he left the match <laughs> so you see leaf rising wind with uh Uchiha shuriken works well with dodge determination because you know the key part of this build is getting your opponent in the air and then just going crazy i tried using the um, the ninja tool for the uh, range the the crimson star but it's just a weird ninja tool because you don't really know what direction they're gonna go whenever it's done, like, you know, hitting them. And, you know, you could use the Icicle Prison, but, like I said, also with that, sometimes they'll do this thing where they'll have, like, a short fall animation and they won't stay in the air for a long time. So, like I said, the most effective thing with this clothing skill would probably be using Flying Raijin Level 2, Leaf Rising Wind with Uchiha Shuriken, 
really a Chia Shuriken. I mean, you see with this guy, I'm just giving him the punishment. All right here. What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro? You tripping? <laughs> you see there? There's basically just there's no chance. There's the once you get them in the air with this clothing skill, yeah, that's when you can actually do some damage, especially when you're using Flying Raijin level 2, which is a really good combo to get your opponent in the air if you pair it with, like, Leaf Rising Wind. I tried to hit, you know, the Flying Raijin level 2 while they were already in the air after hitting them with the Leaf Rising Wind, but the Leaf Rising Wind tends to, you know, not give you that much of a window to shoot off the Flying Raijin because the Kunai will miss. But for the most part... This clothing skill is going to do best with attacks. If you wanted to run it with other builds, you see right here, Flying Rising, Leaf Rising Wind works well with it. If you're going over to range, the main thing you're going to be able to use is probably going to be the Ice Prison, and it's also going to be the external style Flame Lightning. Defense, you can use 8 Trigrams Palm Rotation, possibly, or Wood Style to hold them in spot so you can hit them with a combo, and then Water Pillar for healers. But, um... That's going to be it for the breakdown. I mean, this was a quick one because, I mean, this clothing skill, I mean, in my opinion, it's pretty mid. I'm not really going to be using it. Don't take offense if you do use this clothing skill. And if you know how to utilize it, then, yeah, by all means, utilize it. But I just feel like there's a lot of other things that you could use over dodge determination or dog determination, however you say it. It just doesn't seem like something that really just not really worth having on your builds unless you're running Ichiha Shuriken or some type of launch jutsu but at that point you're better off just having something that's just going to increase your movement speed altogether. but let me know in the comments how y'all felt about this breakdown and we're, we're slowly getting slowly going through the list of all the clothing skills and then you know then we're going to start going through the special ones so drop in the comments if there's any clothing skill that you want me to move up on the list that I haven't done before and we can move that up but if this is your first time here and you enjoyed the content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you can know whenever we post new videos. We upload weekly. And hey, this channel is nothing without y'all. But I'm going to see y'all next time, and thanks for the support. We up.